Karen is a pejorative slang term for obnoxious, angry, entitled, and often racist middle-aged white woman who uses her privilege to get her way or police other people's behaviors. However, Karens come in all shapes and sizes and can be any sex, race, gender, sexual orientation, or political affiliation. Come to the dark side. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! Karen woke up this morning refreshed and ready to start the new day. She has to drive to a city that is several hours away to do some driver instructor training. Before heading on her way, she stops at her favorite grocery store to get some Snickers bars, drinks, and other snacks for her long drive. And while she is getting her items, why not share the good word with others because sharing is caring? At least I'm not a slave wearing a mask. Please, please not harass our customers. I would have been very happy to check out. I don't have to be quiet. I'm an American. I have free speech. It's called a 1A, First Amendment. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I am a descendant of a slave. Yeah. But your goddamn. And by the way, kill, you know what? But you killed. When you were you slave, slave, you had to wear a mask. Us, and I guess you, you missed everything. that. Everything. No. Yeah. yeah. You dismiss it because you guess don't want no. You Accountability. Uh -huh. You need to take your crazy ass right. up to the psych ward and then realize what your goddamn history. Well, at is. least you took your mask down. Good job. Would you like a pressure? I have to to talk to somebody. You like do. You. I agree. No, I'm only history yeah. before you start. I do know the history. I and do know my history. If you call somebody else a slave, you better go ask your goddamn grandmother what the Confederate we right were say. all slaves. You better hear you. You do realize we were all slaves, right? Well, you need to acknowledge that. I do acknowledge okay, it. Then don't call me a slave. You're I'm slave. saying when anyone you know, wears the mask, you're a slave. Here is the choice. I'm not a man. I don't need you. Don't tell me about my mask. I had COVID. Uh huh. You had the so flu. So you don't tell me. You had the flu. No, it wasn't the flu. Because yeah, was. I'm asthmatic. It wasn't the Luke, you sick. You sound like a hypochondriac. No, sound like to me your grandfathers, your forefathers, and everybody else the twisted lies they told you. And you want us to believe you doing that right now. The twisted Trump Like I said, I'm happy you took the mask down. Well, you know what? Mission accomplished. I, I am. And if I had COVID now, you would be sick. Oh, no. And I wouldn't be held accountable. I have an immune systems that's called choice with this, privilege God, please. please yeah forgive me. in jesus name forgive her right. go for it Kiss yeah my black ass ha <laughs> karen karen's brother also woke up refreshed and ready to start the new day he is also traveling to spread the good word unlike his sister he didn't stock up on drinks and snacks before he left so he stops at a store on the way to pick some up and while he is at it why not assault a security guard What's that? I have face masks available. Oh, I've never worn a mask. Uh, we can't let you in the store without one. I'm oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have a medical and religious exemption. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't you don't, you don't break me. civil laws, do you? Uh, this is a reservation. What? It's an Indian reservation. What does that mean? It means that whatever laws apply out there does not apply in here. There is no law for a mask. There is no mandate is for a mask. Yeah. Your policy does not supersede the law. It's against my religion, and I have a health condition. I can't wear a mask. The only way that we can you're breaking you, the law by if, you, if you're trying to refuse service, you're We're breaking the law. We're not refusing you service. You're more than welcome to go to a drive thru They can assist you in the drive thru You guys are we disgusting. Right disgusting behavior. Wow, these people are so sick. So sick. Just need this right here. So, so hopefully you. you guys don't break the law. The cashiers can't serve you. Why? It's only gonna take you two seconds. You know to what? You know what country is this? This is Indian country. This is America. Give me a favor. You don't have to wear a mask in America. Read this. What hey you guys, do you guys, do you guys approve of this? Face, right? hmm? yeah. Do you approve of this? You approve of discrimination? It's not discrimination. 
discrimination. Oh, 100%. 100% discrimination. 100% discrimination. Oh, read this. 100% discrimination. Oh, read this. Hey, your policy's not above the law, dude. Go ahead and try this. Your policy's not above the law, bro. No, it is. Especially since it's on reservation. Okay, you guys are just killing yourself by wearing masks all day. Disgusting. Unbelievable behavior. Do you like you like being a little? Do you like it? Do you? Does it give you power do to you? try to enforce masks? Do you? I do this all the time, dude. I hunt masks, dude. I have people who don't want to wear masks. You don't even have it. Put it over your nose, then, if you're gonna wear a mask. Yeah, do that, slave. Now put Be it a down. good slave. Put it down. Be a good slave. Now put it down. Now go. Oh, I need twenty and pump too. Oh, well, you ain't gonna get circus here. If you don't want to wear the mask, then don't. Go on. Look at this guy. This is a modern day fascist right here. You're disgusting, dude. Uh -huh. This is how you treat your customers? Yeah. No, just go ahead. Go on. That's it, dude. Go on. There you go. Ha <laughs> Karen! Finally on her way, Karen is driving without a care in the world. While practicing her script, you know, for when she shares the good word, she notices a police car behind her and pulls over. That's it. So get back in the car, please. I'm a free American. I will get out of the car if I want to. Okay, no, right now you're being detained, okay? Because I'm stopping you for being, uh, having your registration expired. Knock yourself out. It's just an infraction, so have a seat in the car. Like I said, I have every right to get out of the car. Stay in the car, please. I've been driving from Richmond, and I'd okay, like some fresh air. The faster you get on with this, the faster you'll be on your way, okay? Well, you know what? I prefer to stand outside of my car. Thank okay, you. do you have your idea? I would love to help you with that, but it would go against my moral principles. Okay, so if you don't identify yourself, then we're going to have a problem. Don't get 17. Why is there a party refusing to identify herself as well? Um... So, sir, All right, man. I'm a peaceful person. Okay, I would well, never harm another peaceful person. All right, well, let's step over here then, so we're not on the side of the road. Sure. I actually wanted to go over, just pull into to the Rotten Robbie, but I followed your direction to pull over, so. I'm how are, I'm how are you doing today? I'm not doing too bad, but right now you're not really being cooperative with me, okay? Well, like the I thing said, is, I'm, I'm you doing nothing wrong. So. Your registration is expired as of March. Well, that's what it says. Okay, that's what it says on my system as well. Well, I that's surprising, because my dues are all paid up, so that is surprising. I have valid registration and valid insurance, so. Okay, can you show that to me? I don't have it. They haven't sent it to me. Do you have your driver's license with you? I don't see why I need to show it to you. Well, right now you need to identify yourself because you're being detained. Well, would you like to show me your identification? Sure, absolutely. I have no problem doing that. Oh, okay. Great. So, but I need you to show yours as well, okay? No problem. I guess, but, I mean, the thing is... We only get 17.50. I'm at the Robert, Rotten Robbie gas station. Do you want to clarify the threat of violence? Like, I'm not... You're not violent or anything, but right now you're... No, but you want to clarify me. your threat of violence? Threat of violence? Yes. Oh, so. so here's my identification. Great. So I'm Officer Becerra with the California Highway Patrol. Awesome. And I would have done that at the window had you not gotten out. I know, but the thing is, what's wrong with me getting out and stretching my legs? I've been so driving since Richmond. So that, that raises flies, it's an officer safety thing, well, or would prefer I mean, you to stay in the car? I'm not a typical person, obviously. Okay. From my bumper stickers, you can tell I'm not a typical person. Okay, that's fine. And I love that you're not wearing the face mask. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! Karen's brother didn't have too far to travel to his first stop. Meeting up with some friends, they talk while they walk to their destination and are giddy with anticipation at spreading the good word. You got right, more balls than I do. All right, so we're going to we're gonna go try to go inside, the, uh, inside the, the hotel where they're having it. So, yeah, man. We're going we're gonna to bring Jesus into the hotel. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, Lord. So, guys, this is the place hosting the Satanists. It's the Guaro Hotel. We're all here counter protesting. So let's go. Cause we are the 
children. More people down there. I saw it. I saw it. Catholics, the big one down there. What's that? The Catholics. Yeah, the Catholics. Yeah. Are you a Christian or Catholic? Yeah, Christians. why does why Satanists get protection, man? I don't know, man. It's not, I don't think it's right. It's probably because there are a bunch of little cowards in there. Then you got Christians out here. Little soy boy vaccinated cowards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, here's the hotel, man. Yeah, we, we, we got some saintness here. Hey, are you guys part of the conference? Hey, excuse me. Hey, 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 excuse me. Excuse me, you guys with, with the, with the saintness? Yeah. Well, tur turn to Jesus, man. Turn to, turn to Jesus. Hey, where's the conference? The uh, conference is right in the lobby. Thank you. Uh, Thank but you. are you attending the yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Jesus Christ is king, guys. Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus. Jesus Christ. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! Back at the traffic stop, Karen is quite happy to share and try to change the police officer's way of thinking about what is going on because sharing is caring. And, of course, she has to get out of the car to do so, despite the officer's request for her to stay in her car. Okay. And here's the thing. I have a friend who teaches, tries to do this whole movement called Peaceful Police. Okay. And it's about, it's about police, training police that... 75 on foot board. When you were in police school, um, you could learn how to use your discretion. 75-0, I am at 101 at the off ramp at Town Road, right next to the Rotten Robbies. Your discretion. So obviously, I know you use it all the time. You know, you have the discretion to like pull people over or not, and all these things. And so basically, I'm here to represent like we don't have to keep doing this. Like basically, we're living in a lawless state right now. Like the whole thing with COVID, asking us to mask. You know, like so you can get your groceries. That's totally illegal. Zero, that's okay, and. and our whole law system is just broken right now. Okay. So for me personally, yeah, it's it's too bad they haven't sent me the sticker. And I'm at a point with the state of California and like our law, our lawless state that, you know, I'm not terribly interested in complying. Now I did pay all my dues and I can tell you it cost a pretty penny because I, it was expired in March and they were overdue, but they did get their check. So, um, it may say it's expired in your system, but if you, I mean, I do have not I mean, it's like, I am up to date and I'm a couple thousand dollars in debt because of it, but okay. that's not really important. The important thing is I'm a very safe driver. I'm, I have deep respect for the roadway, for my fellow people and Californians. And, you know, I've had to change my entire life over the last year and a half because I would not do this. As a Christian, I'm not veiling my face. That was required for me at my job. I had to leave my job, you know? It's like, I'm not gonna do the mask, I'm not gonna do the shot. So, again, we're in this lawless culture where I'm making sacrifices, I've paid my dues, I'm completely legally up to date. But even if I were not, you know, I would never harm another person on the roadway. And if I did, I would take full responsibility. So, you know. This is, I'm 43, I've got like thousands of miles under my belt driving, and I'm actually on my way to John's Driving School in Santa Rosa because I'm training to become a driver instructor. So I just want you to know that's why I'm out and about this Sunday morning. It's not just for a leisure drive. I'm, I'm on my way to work and I'm in training, which is really exciting. And the reason I can do that is I have a perfect record and you know passed my live scan and all that stuff. So. You know, this is like, I left a 20 year career at farmer's markets and on a farm mm -hmm. because of this whole hell of a, of a year and a half. So, you know, my rights have been infringed. This thing, this is not, this is not free speech. So I already feel kind of like, you know, I'm already being bashed around and, and I totally, I welcome to being pulled over because I want to practice this method. I want to sell you on the fact that we're free. You have discretion and like there's no reason to pick on like obviously if I was like leaving if I was driving and talk, what all those things you can do pull me over if you got bad guys you want to go catch I will stand behind you and help you or, like stand with you whatever 
But the point is, I'm not the bad guy, obviously. You know, I'm like a super responsible, trustworthy person. I work very hard and I haven't been able to work for the past year and a half as much as I wanted to because of this whole situation, which is totally unfair. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! Karen's brother and his friends finally get to where they are going to share the good word and meet up with a roadblock. I got the butterflies in the stomach, man. This is what we gotta do to save our country, man. Confront these sanest, man. Are you doing this way up here? Um, are you part of the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you have your vaccine card? What's that? you have your vaccine, vaccine card? Vaccine card. You have to have a vaccine card in it. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. Why do you have to have a vaccine that's a, that's a policy. Well, oh, I got a uh, medical exemption, so... Uh, it, everybody has to have a vaccine. Really? Yeah. Really? Wow. The Satanists... Satanists requiring the vaccines. Uh, I'm not surprised, I, I, eh? I know you're recording. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, sir. Okay. I'll leave. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wow. Satanists requiring okay. vaccines, guys. That's This is what... That's what Satanists love to do, guys. They love to require you vaccines have to leave the property, sir. and wear masks. Jesus Christ is King, guys. Jesus Our Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus is your Savior, God the Jesus Almighty. Christ. Follow God. He is your shield. He is you your armor. Turn to Jesus, guys. Turn to Jesus. Christ is King. Jesus saves. Christ is King. Accept Jesus Christ. He is the pathway. You guys are trusting. Christ is King. You guys are good there. You guys are good over Just there. In the yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you're, other than that, you guys are good. Okay. Okay. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. God bless yeah. you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. 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 We pray for you guys. Yeah, we pray Thank for you. Guys. For don't don't fall for those evil spirits right? in there. This is yeah. not is it hard easy. Them? Uh, you know None of it's been you. easy, right? Just, we're yeah. here. We're here to keep the peace. That's what yeah. we're here for. Make sure you stay in there, brother. Ha ha, Karen. Meanwhile, the police officer is patiently listening to Karen blather on about her life's experiences. But he honestly just wants to get on with the traffic stop and get her along her way. Totally legal, and unfortunately, the sheriff and the police didn't necessarily always have my back. You know what I mean? Like. In a perfect world, we'd have constitutional sheriffs who would uphold my right to shop and like be free and like work for that matter. America's a little bit broken right now, but I'm happy to say that I think we are turning a corner. But it's because people like me are like, I'm not doing this. Like there's a line in the sand, I'm not crossing it. And like, so I don't mean to be difficult, I really don't. And like, you show me your ID, I will be happy to show you mine. I'm just saying, and in general, I hear that's unusual, that most people won't show their identification, but I'm just trying to create a more peaceful, happier world. Like, I really, I mean, like, and I love, I've, I've gotten to talk with so many, you know, police and sheriffs this year, it's given me the opportunity, because I'm the one getting escorted out of, you know, supermarkets and all that, and that's fine, you know, and to be frank, where I'm from, well, I'm from San Francisco, but I was living in the desert for the past 15 years. And my Indio police department did the most, like, they were the most teachable. Whereas my sheriffs were like, whatever, you know. Um, and CHP has always been lovely. And I used to drive from Coachella to San Francisco on a regular basis thousands and thousands of miles 101 and i5 so i'm just saying like my experience on the roads i can't wait to be a driving instructor i hope you know i hope i become one because um all i want is safe like it should be a pleasure to drive it's a social thing it's fun but you know i kind of feel um ha <laughs> ha karen Karen's brother, getting booted out of his first attempt to spread the word, ends up at another stop to try again. And as always, he, like his sister, loves to play cards and play the victim. Hey man, did you get the vaccine? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Come on man, you got the vaccine, the poison vaccine? I got the Johnson. How dare you brother? <laughs> Come on. Hey man, you get the vaccine? What? You get the vaccine? 
Yeah. Hey guys, I got a question. Did you get the vaccine? Yeah, what you get the vaccine? Assault. Assault on campus. This is completely unacceptable. I was assaulted by an ASU, possibly a CCCP, or excuse me, CCP affiliate. It's very high probable that, highly probable that uh, this guy was with the CCP, him and his girlfriend. And they viciously assaulted me because I questioned them if they were wearing, if they got the vaccine. Hmm. There's also professors there uh that have been caught working with the ccp so this is so we might be we're under attack by foreign entities by foreign actors they are here and they they're attacking us they're attacking the country and man we got to stand up man no more ccp ccp asu screw asu screw you guys i was assaulted on your campus what are you gonna do about it huh huh i want to know i want this guy removed from your school and him and his girlfriend removed, and I want you guys to issue an apology to Ethan Schmidt, founder of the Anti-Masters Club. Yeah. If I did that to somebody, I would be, I'd be a goner, man. I'd be in jail. The police would probably step on my neck. I can't breathe with a mask on. Ha ha, Karen! Back with Karen and the police officer, she feels the need to stretch and do yoga while the officer finishes the traffic stop, despite his further request for her to get in her car. So, hey ma'am, can we feel yes. to see your car? Let me verify all the information you've given me. Okay, I'm going to do a little yoga by the side, because I, I literally, like, I'm going to have to... Can you just please sit down? I'll well, be right back again, in a second, okay? Why? I, I, I listen to you. I just I know, want you to be inside. It makes why? me feel comfortable, okay? Literally, I would just to be in the pressure i'm going to be in the car for four hours we're not going to be in the car for four no, hours i'm going to be in the car driving okay i understand that but i prefer you sitting down well, okay I, I'm obviously, going to go in my car. again it's just this delusion of authority you understand like by telling someone like you have to wear a mask you have to sit in the car okay i'm, I'm a free you person. Any... i don't have to do anything right, ma'am i listen to everything you have I to know, say but like do you so understand you please, how insane you, that is can you please listen to me i'm listening okay can you please have a seat why? I already told you to sit down in your car and I'll be right back. Okay? I'm gonna do Utsanasana. <laughs> I, like, I literally need to stretch. There's nothing wrong with doing yoga on a Sunday. The only problem is that you're being detained right now. You got pulled hey, over I'm, for your I'm registration. Delighted. Well, I'm gonna be detained in this position, which is more healthy. Okay, well, my partner's gonna look out for you, okay? Wonderful. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good. How, what's your name? Christina. Christina. Yours? Jeremy. Jeremy. Nice to meet you. You too. What's going on? I was just explaining to your partner that um, I'm involved with this movement called Peaceful Police. Okay. Where we try and sell people like you on freedom. Why do you say people like me? Law enforcement. Okay. Sorry, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I didn't quite make the sale yet, but, uh... Ha ha, Karen! Karen's brother loves to spread the good word on social media as well as in person. And he takes the time from his busy sharing is caring day to show us just how narcissistic he really is. I'm on my Instagram this morning and Alex from Predator Poachers <laughs> tags me in the post and is a, and apparently I'm on front page Snapchat. So that's a new one. That's pretty um, big. I've done front page World Star and Reddit multiple times. Uh, this is the first time Snapchat. That's pretty. That's pretty big. I I don't know if this is true though, so I better go on Snapchat and check it out. See if it's wow, true. guys, this is crazy. Turning Point USA has me trespassed after I go to their event. Wow, how I, I didn't think TPUSA could get any more petty, guys. The the, the they didn't want me there. But they said I was like arguing in her, like with people. I was not arguing with anybody. So now they're gonna have me trespassed. <laughs> Wow, guys, I didn't think TPUSA could get any more petty, guys. This is insane, man. Wow. Do not... Do not work with TPUSA. They are complete trash. Everybody there, completely rude to me. Saying I live in my mom's basement and just... Insulting me. Wow. All because I call, called out a couple girls on the internet for posting bra pictures. Posting sexual bra pictures. 
which is not conservative. That's why they're the mad at me. reminder. My favorite pastime is harassing cancer patients and people that wear masks. I love to just harass people. Just put the camera in their face. Just harass them and yell at them and just follow them around. And even when they tell me to leave, I just don't leave and just press them and press them and press them and press them. That's my favorite thing to do is just harass. I just love harassing people, especially cancer patients because they're weak and vulnerable, you know. Weak and vulnerable and easy targets. I love harassing cancer patients.